Alright then gang, so we've seen now how to do a lot of things with Docker. We've seen how to make images for different services, we've seen how to run containers for both of those as well, how to work with volumes, and also how Docker Compose works as well. Finally, I want to show you how to share your images on Docker Hub so that other people can download them and run them on their own computers. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is head to the Docker Hub website, which is at hub.docker.com. And to begin with, you'll probably see a different page to me because you won't be logged in or you won't have an account. So you'll need to sign up for a free account, first of all, by clicking a sign up link that I think you'll see somewhere in the top right over there. Then once you've done that, once you have an account and you're logged in, you should see a page, something like this one. And down here, there's an option to create a repository, which is what we want to do. So click on that. All right, so now we just need to specify some details for this repository where we're gonna basically push up our image. And what we're gonna do is call this my API. Doesn't really matter what you call it. And then you can add a description if you want to. I'm going to keep this public. And then down here, we'll say create. And then we should see this repository right here called my API. So it's the NetNinja UK forward slash my API and that's important right because we need to call our image this whole thing right here we can't just call the image for example my API it needs to be called the net ninja UK forward slash my API in my case in your case it's going to be something different over here dependent on your username and then to push up the image this is what we're going to do we're going to say docker push and then the whole name of the image and any tag of the image as well so let's give that a whirl all right then, so first of all, I've already deleted all of the images I had previously. So I can show you that, Docker images, and press enter, and we can see there's no images. Now what I need to do is create a new image now that I can push up to that repository we created on Docker Hub. Now I'm gonna create an image for this API project down here. Now this time around, I'm not gonna use Docker Compose because I don't want to spin up containers for both of our projects and make images for both of our projects. I just want a simple image build for this project right here, the API one, okay? So to do that, we can say Docker, and then we want to build an image and then hyphen T to give this a name and a tag if we want to. Now remember that name needs to be very specific. It needs to be your username, first of all. So in my case, the net ninja UK, then forward slash, then the name of the repository, which I think was my API in this case. And then you can give it a tag if you want to. If you don't, then it's gonna give it a default latest tag, which is what I'll just go with. And then a space and then a dot at the end to say where to find the Docker file. And by the way, you need to be in the correct project folder right here to do this. I'm in the API one since I'm building the API image. All right, so press enter to create this image then, first of all. And now that's done, we can say Docker images to see this. And now we can see this image right here. Now I'm gonna copy that image name. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to push this up to Docker, but before you can do that, you need to log in. So to do that locally, you can say Docker, log in and press enter. This is gonna ask you for your username and password. So just enter both of those and press enter, and that's gonna log you in locally on your computer, and only then can you push up to the repository. So now to push it up, once you've done that, you say Docker, push, and then whatever the image is called, in my case, the NetNinja UK, and then forward slash API, and then we press enter. And it says right here, it's using the default tag latest because we didn't specify a tag that we wanna push or even use when we created the image, all right? But now it's going through this and it's pushing up that image to the repository on Docker Hub. All right, so now over here, if I was to refresh, then hopefully we should see that we have pushed it up successfully. So you can see last pushed a few seconds ago. All right, so down here we can see the tags and scans. So this is the latest version that we pushed a few seconds ago right here, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is just go to the public view for this and that's where other people can see that this image is available for download. So it says the name of the image, who it's by, etc. any tags available. We just have the latest one because we didn't really specify any specific tags or versions, but it shows you how then to basically pull down this image. So I could do that by copying this command and then running that locally on my computer. 
Okay then, so we can see that currently we already have the image on our computer, right? This is the image we created a minute ago and then pushed up to Docker Hub. What I want to do is delete this image from our computer and then download the one or pull the one from Docker Hub that we just uploaded to make sure it all works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say Docker image and then RM to remove something and then the full name of that, which is the net ninja UK forward slash my API and that's going to delete that image for us. Let me just say Docker images again to make sure that's worked. Yep, it has. Awesome. All right. So now what we want to do is pull down the image from Docker Hub. So what I'm going to do is say Docker pull and then paste in this thing right here, the Net Ninja UK forward slash my API, right? And then press enter. And that's going to now pull down that image from the repository onto our computer. So I can say now Docker images, and we should be able to see that we have that image again. All right, it's pretty awesome, okay? So now if I wanted to, I could run that image on my computer and it's gonna work exactly the same way as it did before. So this is the benefit of Docker, right? We can create these images and share them with people and those images are going to contain all the dependencies the environment that's needed etc and when that user then who downloaded the image runs it on their computer it's going to create that container that isolated environment and run the image on the application exactly the same way as it would be run on my computer regardless of what versions of anything they have installed on their own computer so it keeps that kind of synchronicity between different people running the application. Everything is going to be predictable running in those isolated containers, which is pretty freaking awesome. So hopefully, my friends, this series has taught you the basics of Docker and you can appreciate the benefits of using Docker so we can share these images. In the future, I will also do a series on how to deploy a website using Docker containers as well. So that's gonna come up in the future and also maybe a series on Kubernetes as well. So stay tuned for those.